Today's coin did an absolutely astounding 62,000% in the last bull run. Even more crazy, it did a majority of the movement in only 23 days. This coin does not gradually do anything. It absolutely explodes. Not only that, it is so suppressed right now, I think it's going to happen at any moment. Let's dive in and I'm going to show you exactly why I'm incredibly bullish on XRP. Go ahead and like and subscribe to the video and we'll dive right in. So like I was saying, guys, this coin did 62,000% last bull run it, it was it was the winner of the last bull run undoubtedly ethereum did around 12,000 litecoin did around 10,000 bitcoin did around 2500 percent xrp completely dominated the market and and just made incredible things happen and this coin does not move slowly in either direction it goes straight up or straight down or years of just complete sideways consolidation, okay? However, this coin is now starting to look like it's going to take off and you're gonna love this. So um, on XRP, the first thing that I always look at anytime I look at a chart like this is going to be the 200 moving average. Like you guys should be very well aware, that's what I love to look for. I got rid of the 200, didn't I? Oh my gosh, let me fix it real quick. My bad on that. All right, awesome, 200, and there we go. It's there. So the one thing you're gonna look on this is that we've been suppressed by the 200, or we found support at the 200, we found support at the 200, we fell down from the 200, came up here, touched it, came back up here again, and then we were suppressed by that level. However, just recently, we curved around, and now for the first time since June, yes, yeah, so last time since June 20th, which is around, what, 45 days, we've just now gotten above this level for the first time. <laughs> it's a really big sign, guys. I'm telling you that right now. So, on the high time frame, what we're looking at is we have this major monthly breaker, okay? This major monthly breaker is acting as a major support level. Um, so yeah, it's acting as a very major support level and we are very close to breaking out of that very major support. Not only that, we have broken off of this major weekly level. And we know this monthly level is very important because you can see how we come up here, test it, test it, which means we confirmed it twice that it was a very major resistance. However, once we curved down to the bottom, we came back up here again, we once again rejected and rejected. And we finally broke above and then we came down here. What do we find support at? The, this monthly level again. We had a very, very harsh drop last month into this breaker. But as you can see, we never even left this breaker, okay? it has held as a very strong support. And we're starting to break up to the upside. And on the weekly one, same basic story. We have this weekly breaker established, come up here, tap it, tap it again, tap it again, tap it again, tap it, tap it, tap it, got above it, came down here, rejected very nicely from it, went down, closed inside of it, lost it, had a very brutal bear trap, and now we've accelerated from the upside from this retest. Looks great, right? All around, I love the interaction that I'm having with this monthly and this weekly breaker. Now, obviously, we still have work to do before I'm totally confident in it, but overall, I think it looks very healthy, and this is the Bitcoin pairing. Now, let's go to the other pairings, right? We always look at all of our pairings. However, on this one, I'm going to look at one additional one, which is the XRP Ethereum pairing, which you're like, oh, that's interesting. You could do that? Yes, you can, actually. So, on this pairing... We have this level right here. It's a very important level because this is the last stop. It's like a point of, uh, essentially, like, sort of like a point of breakup, but not really. Uh, it's just a really good breaker level. So drop down here. This is where we found resistance. We continue back down, right? So this fight back right here is going to be a very strong support or resistance. A support if you're from the upside and resistance if you're from the downside. Well, we came down here, and what do we find, what do we find support at? You're right, our breaker. Got back up. Very massive acceleration, came back down. Where do we find support at? Once again, our breaker is holding us up. Not only is it holding us up, it's 
barely even letting us push into that breaker at all. This is really, really good. Not only that, we know how bullish Ethereum has been lately, right? Because this is the XRP Ethereum pairing, but it's still holding us up on that pairing, even though Ethereum is extremely bullish. This is a very, very good sign. I like this. And on the XRP BTC pairing, of course, well, there's a few different things on this one I want to look at. Number one, look at this trend line, okay? This purple trend line right here. Look at the interaction we're having. Test, like these two, these two lines connected. We have a test, a test, 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 test. Damn near a test. When you go really far back, it gets a little harder. But if you turn the log, okay, there you go. So test, right? And it just, it interacts so well with this trend line. You have to assume it's going to be a very important one. So we've reclaimed it. We're above that level. As long as we stay above this level, I'm super bullish on this coin already. But we have more, of course. So this right here, or actually, let's do this first. This is a massive point of breakup. How can you tell? This is the last down candle before this massive acceleration upwards, right? So Oh, let me fix that real quick. <laughs> we had a, find it real quick, price range. We had a 159% increase from this breakup, right? So not too bad, that's for dang sure, right? And this level has held up very well the whole time. Well, we lost it, we reclaimed it, retested it, and now we're starting to push up to the upside. Love it. This three-day breaker is currently supporting the price, but I really want to see it get back above. So if you want additional confirmation that this is going to continue going upwards, wait until we get above this purple breaker and hold it. That'd be really nice to see. Um, on here, just like we have, we're above the 200 moving average on the, the uh, US dollar pairing, we are also above the 200 on our Bitcoin pairing. This is great, guys. You know how much I love the 200, and once again, we're above it. This is the exact same sign that I looked for for Raven, and as well as ACH. And you all know how that one ended up, right? Exactly. So um, this chart looks great. I'm really, really excited about it. This is my, let me find it real quick, active holdings, active holdings. I can't find the dang thing. Where is it at? Active holdings. I can't find it. Oh, no. I'm going crazy, guys. Trading Academy. Either way, um, this is my third largest holding that I have. Oh, here it is right here. This is my second largest holding on uh, this chart. I own around 15% of my portfolio is XRP and everything else is diversified. They're all coins. So I'm absolutely a believer. The proof is in the pudding. I have absolutely bought this coin. I've held on this coin for a very long time. I don't care about the SEC lawsuit. I think it's overblown. I think it's going to get completely thrown out very, very soon. And even if it doesn't get thrown out very, very soon, the important thing here is that this, this price is severely depressed. Suppressed. Severely. Look at this, guys. Like, absolutely insanely suppressed right now. I don't care about the lawsuit because even if we don't have clarity in the market, markets will act irrational for a very long period of time. And if you doubt that, think about Doge. That's all I got to say. If you think that it was rational what happened with Doge and how it had like a 5,000% increase, then I'll tell you guys, all right? Just because something is going on in the market does not mean the market's going to have to act that way, all right? It will take off. And look, when it does take off, it takes off very rapidly, okay? So when it does take off, you will not be getting an entry in this market anywhere near the price you thought you would. So um, I'm buying here. Do what you want. But uh, yeah, I think that's my video, guys. If you have any questions, like always, make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think this is going to get to. I'm really curious. Tell me what your guys' price targets are. Um, I hear a lot of price targets that uh, that uh, go around all the time, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. And I'm not going to give you a price target because I will give that in a future video after we take off because I think we have a long ways to go. All right, guys. Um, outside of that, have a good night, and I will see you all in the next video. Deuces, boys.